So let's check out one of the featured GBTs in the GBT store today, which is gonna be Consensus. If you don't know what Consensus is, think of it as a new search engine like Google, like Bing, but it bases its answers off research papers, therefore trying to circumnavigate fake information or information that isn't based on credible resources. And lo and behold, it is number one on trending for the GBT store. So you know I gotta make a video on it. Let's jump in. Welcome back, y'all. So in today's video, we're gonna be just doing a quick tutorial on a GBT that is literally number one in the world right now when it comes to GBT. So I feel like I was kind of obligated to make a tutorial on this. This seems like an interesting GBT because this context is trying to find information but in a different light as you know in the past we're used to basically looking at information and just hoping that the blog we're reading or the article we're reading is credible but as we know we need research papers to really back up certain theses and that's kind of the use case of this search engine also make sure to check me out on twitter it's right in the description down below all you gotta do is click a button press follow and you're gonna get insights on ai and also just random stuff like should i start streaming edm and would you watch it okay let's jump over to the gbt here and begin to get going here, you're gonna need a Chad GBT Plus account, go to the GBT store, and if by the time you're watching this, it's not number one, you can just type in consensus up there. We're just gonna go ahead and click it. That is gonna open a whole new chat here, and we can start leveraging this. So what I plan on doing is I'm gonna ask a bunch of different questions on a bunch of different topics to really see the power of this GBT. So the real value I feel with this type of search engine is asking questions that are either debated or a little bit like unsure on a definite answer. So the first question I'm asking you is how effective are mindfulness and meditation in reducing stress and anxiety? Let's hit click here and see how it kind of structures its outputs as I've never used this GBT up to this point here. We should get a prompt here that basically says, do we allow it to look this up or not? And we're gonna go ahead and proceed. Okay, so it's starting the action here. It's talking to their API. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit always allow. If I hit just allow, it's gonna prompt me every single time. I just want it to allow me every single time. And let's go ahead and get an answer to this. One other thing while we're waiting for the answer there is what I want to point out, which is pretty cool about the GBT comparative to using their front end is watch this. Oh, I need an account. Okay, so now you know you can use this software without making an account. And if you really like it, you can make an account. So let's go ahead and see this answer. Also, why this prints out an answer, I want to point out, as we know, ChatGBT, there's always iterations where it's not trained up to a certain date of time. Obviously, with this, we're going to get the most recent event. So if there's a study that came out two days ago, we would be able to get the data in this chat. Using traditional ChatGBT at this moment, it is trained up to April of 2023. If you're watching this three years from now, I have no clue the date. You can probably just look it up online real quick. So we got a little bit of a glitch here where it was doing the original output and they wanted to do it again. That's fine. It seems like... Every single thing it says is gonna be sourced. So just for the answer real quick, a generally positive impact. And then if we go ahead and click one of these, it's gonna probably take us directly to one of their links. Okay, and you wanna learn more about it, we'd obviously need to sign up. But as you see here, we are getting information. That being said, let's do the first little test here that could be useful when trying to talk to a language model in this context, which would be, can you give me a direct quote from one of these studies? So we're gonna go ahead and grab this one. We're gonna say, I'm gonna copy this real quick. That is a lot of information. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna say from, this might not work because I might need to be uh, logged in, but let's see, from this study, can you give me a direct, let me go ahead and get my shoulder out of there. Can you give me a direct quote from it? Uh, I would say supporting the thesis of positive impact. So it's not describing any quote. Boom. All right, so it's talking to it. It's not proctoring me to um, say allow again, as we said, always allow, which is nice. That expedites the way we access this information, which is nice. Let's see if we can understand this and provide us with this direct quote. Okay, plus one, plus one consensus, good job. You can provide us with a direct quote, which can be useful in overall context, whichever we may use this in. So that went ahead and passed the first test I wanna try on this. Let's go ahead and see if we can pass the second test which is basically wondering if it can grab data that is really recent. Okay, also keep in mind, this is all beta. So I got a little bit of an error and it wanted to re-output uh, re that thing. So keep that in mind. It does work though, and that's cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start off here again. And we're gonna start, actually I'm gonna refresh the chat. Sometimes when dealing with GBTs and GBT in general, you don't wanna kind of jump off onto different deep ends as it could really affect the output. So if I'm talking about baseball and then I jump to you know, the hiking trails in Europe, like, or I don't know, you, the UK, like keep it all lasered into one topic so it doesn't get, uh, doesn't affect the performance of your outputs. That being said, let's try another type of question here. We're gonna say what recent discoveries, what is 
the most recent discovery that has been made for the potential life on Mars. I'm going to hit enter here, and here's how I'm going to gut check this. I'm going to see what it says is the quote-unquote most recent discovery, and then I'm going to search up online myself and see if this aligns with it. So we're getting our results here. I am noticing it's all from 2022, y'all. Did nothing happen in 2023? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give it one chance here. I mean, honestly, maybe nothing happened in 2023, so I might be on the wrong base here. I'm going to give it one chance here, though, to see if anything happened in 2023. All right, so I'm going to hit that enter there and see what it comes up with. So this is interesting, y'all. Look it. It's using Bing to search this up. So it seems like if it can't find a specific ad answer within the consensus database, it is going to refer to Bing as a alternative search method. As you see, there was information and quote unquote significant developments in regards to this kind of information. That being said, the information that's being provided does seem like it is research based, so that's always good. Keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question here and see if you can formulate an opinion and give me basically a direction to go on the topic of drum roll, drinking coffee. All right, let's see. Okay, I like drinking coffee. Is this overall a positive thing for me or a negative? thing for me you use research and give me a definitive no uh, answer i don't want you to jump around it jet gbt i don't want you to be like well technically no just tell me yes or no start an action okay so right now it's giving me a bunch of research studies and formulating opinions on different effects positive effects negative effects when it comes to coffee after it gives, a, gives me this entire output, I'm going to make it make a decision. No generality here. Tell me yes or no. All right, so it gave me a conclusion here. Obviously, it was trying to be very general and neutral. I'm going to say, based on the research, say overall positive or overall negative. No neutral opinion. There we go, positive. We got our answer based off research using consensus, an AI search engine. So that just about does it, y'all. This is the value points of consensus, how to talk to it, and keep in mind all the different things we've learned about when talking to consensus. Overall, this seems like a positive GPT as we don't have to make an account for it. We are able to get research-based answers and we're able to proctor even with Bing on top of its own search engine. So make sure to leave a like if you feel like you learned something. Check out the playlist at the end here if you want me to see, di see myself diving into other GBTs, how to create GBTs, custom GBTs, GBT store, I'll see you in the next video. So that is the GBT playlist right there. And based off your preferences and your clicks and the different rabbit holes you went down on YouTube, supposedly that video right there matches you best. I have no clue. And last but not least, click that button. I don't know what it does.